Welcome back to the Daily Edition. Now our next guest has proven her talent in television, on the stage and even in the recording studio. Yeah, now Jolene Anderson is making her mark in Hollywood where she's just wrapped up her first film. Let's take a look. She's the small town girl who went on to become a big star. Jolene Anderson wowed us with her impeccable voice and her serious acting skills. Her big break came in the role of nurse Erica Templeton in the hit medical drama All Saints. If she'd have been stabbed, we'd have to report it. If she was underage, we'd have to report it. Although the 33-year-old is known for keeping a low profile, Jolene is now trying her luck in Hollywood, where she's just finished shooting the short film Beyond Memories. The film was directed by major film studio The Weinstein Company. If a success in Australia is anything to go by, it looks like we'll be seeing a whole lot more of Jolene in the future. And the incredibly talented Jolene Anderson joins us now live from Los Angeles. Hey Jolene, welcome, first of all. Hi, thank you, yeah. thank you. Now you've made the permanent move to the States recently. Uh, how competitive is the audition process and working in Hollywood? Um, it is extremely competitive, uh, but I'm you know, getting in the right doors and just trying to stay on my path and not worry about what anyone else is doing. So it's been a lot of work, um, but it's been good. There's no partying? I thought it would just be all partying, <laughs> Jolene. Isn't it? You well, make it sound I think like that might... Tough. I think that happens in your 20s. Oh, uh -huh. oh. <laughs> all right, OK. Oh, well, there's me out then. Yeah, yeah, thanks. yeah, yeah definitely I'm definitely out. gone. <laughs> hey, you've just done a short film, Beyond Memories. Now, that premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. Tell us a bit about that. Um, yeah, I happened to get this beautiful role, um, which was very creatively fulfilling. And we shot it at the end of last year. Um, in the middle of winter here, it was freezing. I did a lot of swimming and running around. and. Yeah, it was received really well and premiered at the Cannes Film Festival and I got to meet Harvey Weinstein and do the whole red carpet thing and it was, it was amazing. Wow. It was, yeah, but a really beautiful project. Look, it's pretty clear to everyone that you're just incredibly talented right across <laughs> the entertainment industry, but you can talk yourself up or down as much as you like here. <laughs> do you think you're a better singer or actress? Uh, oh. Oh, come on. Oh, oh both? Are oh, you going to say both? <laughs> <laughs> equally, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love them equally, though, if that's anything to go by. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. That's fine. Hey, do you um, use a particular song or do you do anything? Do you have a, like a pre audition ritual that you use? Um, no, not really. I do like to play a lot of Australian music before, like on the way to an audition. Right. A bit of Jimmy Barnes, yeah. maybe. Yeah, or some silver chair lately. Oh, look at me. I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm stuck in 1980, don't mind me, Jolly. Uh, a little you bit any... of K-san never goes astray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you any audition horror stories that you could share with us? Anything that happened that really shouldn't have happened or embarrassing moments? Anything? Um, oh, there's plenty. There's, <laughs> there's pick plenty, actually. Pick your best. Oh. No, I'd say the worst was a few years ago I auditioned for Narnia and oh, yeah. I had to audition like I was on a horse. <laughs> and I said, what, you want me to move like I'm actually riding a horse? And so I kind of did the scene <laughs> like this. It was so ridiculous. I walked out and I went, thanks for your time. <laughs> Not like the old I Spice Man. I seeing you again. <laughs> Since I'm, just, I'm on a horse. You could do that role. Yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, on, a, on a more serious note now, let's talk about your role with Mental Health Week. How did you become involved with that? Um, I was approached by a lovely lady uh, called Leanne Imber from Sydney and she had written a song called Don't Let the Darkness In and she had a lovely young fellow from Sydney write the music and his name was Tom Farmer and she queried whether I was going to be in Australia to be able to come in to record it and then would I be able to help promote it and um, we went in last year, we recorded the song, we approached the Black Dog Institute who said yes this is a great cause, let's get in and do it. Um, and it just so happens that this year it's really taken off. We've done a lot of radio, um, print media, and now it's Mental Health Week coming up. And it's, you know, it's the perfect way to raise money and raise awareness for such a, such a charity that's very dear to mine and many people's hearts. Yeah, of course, it's a great cause. Now, we, of course, remember the tragic death of your All, Saint, All Saints co-star, Martha Priestley. Is that a big reason why you're doing this now? 
Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I think the public obviously know um, about what happened, and that was probably one of the reasons why Leanne approached my, me. Mm. And but the reason why I agreed to do the project was more that I really liked her story and I thought she was brave you know she's not in the media she's not in the entertainment industry at all and she kind of put her hand up and said I have a story to share um, would you please help me and I thought I'm gonna be in Australia in two weeks let's do this let's make it happen Good on it's, you. A, it's an incredible story and then so how can viewers now find out more about this project and of course hear the song um, there's a website which Leanne has created called Don't Let the Darkness In, which is www.dontletthedarknessin.com. Um, but I think you can also purchase it on iTunes. Um, and the song, obviously all the money goes to the Black Dog Institute, who are the world leaders in diagnosis and prevention. And it's all for depression and bipolar and... Yeah, I'm just so proud of Leanne and the Black Dog Institute for getting behind it. Absolutely, I'm proud of you as well. Thanks so much for um, for joining us today and good luck in Hollywood. Very best of luck. Yeah, Thank yeah. looking you. forward to that movie. Thank you. Thanks for supporting. Absolute pleasure. Thanks so much.